We really have no intuition yet. So here's a theorem. I claim compact sets are bounded. OK, so I have to define bounded. So remember, we're in some metric space. Uh, so uh, let me just make a definition. Definition, a set K is bounded. I'm going to abbreviate bounded by BDD. A set K is bounded if, suggest a definition for me, for an arbitrary metric space. What do you think it means to be bounded? Emil. If there's some, some ball that contains the entire set, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good definition. Um, if there's some ball that contains the entire set, I, I like that. Uh, it's different from the one in the book, uh, but it's equivalent, right? So the one in the book says a set is bounded if there is a. Well, actually, it is equivalent. It's exactly what the book says, but you just said it in a lot nicer way. If there's a point and a radius such that uh, the uh, ball around that point contains everything. So I'll just say that. That's good. Uh, if k is in, I'll say it this way, n sub r of x for some x in uh, big X. Okay, so if it's in a big enough ball, then the set is bounded. Picture. Here's a, here's a set K. Now the ball doesn't have to be centered around any particular a point in K. It could be in just an X. This is a bounded set because it's in a big enough ball. Okay. Now let's show, in fact, that compact sets can't be too big. They're small. They're bounded. Okay. And let's see. I, I claim in this proof, a very nice proof, you will see why uh, this is somehow related to, the, to being finite, the next best thing to being finite. Help me. Why is it the case that a compact set is bounded? Well, what do I, what do I have? What's the hypothesis now? Let's, let's give the set a name. So here's a proof. Suppose K is compact. Let K be compact. That's a good place to start. I want to show K is bounded. Help me. If it's compact, that means that every, everybody say this together, every has a? Good. So if you have a, a set that's compact, it means that you can pick any cover you want and use the fact that I know that that has a finite subcover, yes? So let's pick a good open cover. That will help us show that this set is bounded. Raise your hand if you have an idea, and I'm going to just see how long, uh, wait until enough people have an idea to show this thing is bounded. If the compact set is, how can you show the set is bounded? How can you show the set is bounded? Rebecca? OK, so we want an open cover that contains K. Which one? Oh, OK, if it has one set in it, uh, I guess it's, w w what, set, what set would that be? Ah, now, of course, how do you know there is a neighborhood that contains K? You want it to, but now what you would have shown is that any set, if your, if your proof were true, that would show that any set is, is uh, bounded, which is not, definitely not true, right? And, th and the problem, of course, is the one set that might contain K might be the entire metric space, right? It's not necessarily a neighborhood. So can you think of some open balls that cover this that might be helpful? What do I want to do to show that this set is bounded? I really want to do what? I want to show that, in, in some sense, the distance from 
th from this point to some other point can't be too big, yes? So it might be helpful to cover the set with a bunch of balls of what radius? I don't know, pick one. What if I had balls of radius 1? So let's start with now another picture. If I had a bunch of balls of radius 1, that's a lot of them, isn't it? I could use that trick over there. You see the W sub x's? I'm not going to draw them all. But you can't stop me from dropping them all. OK, but I'm not going to. OK, there's a lot of open balls here, yes? Radius 1. What's compactness going to give you? A cover by finitely many. Now, why would that help you show this thing is bounded if there are just finitely many balls of radius 1? Suppose there were 17 balls of radius 1 now that covered this thing. Or how about just a bigger one? A ball of radius 17 you claim will now cover everything or something like that. Actually, it would be 17 plus 1, perhaps, right? So, so do you see how finiteness is now playing a big role here? Because there, this cover has a finite number of balls that <coughs> form a subcover, nothing can be more than 17 balls away. And these are all radius 1. Yes? OK, let's write that down. This is a very nice proof. Let k be compact. Uh, and then let uh, uh, notice that, um, the, let's say, the set W of uh, the ball, I'm going to call B sub 1. No, I'll just call this N sub 1. No, let's, let's just so we'll make our lives a little easier. We'll write, let's let B sub X be N sub 1 of X. This is the ball of radius 1. So now the first thing to note is that you have an open cover. So the one open cover might be, let's take the ball b sub x such that x is in k. Would you agree that's exactly like this example here? This is just a ball around every single point of a particular radius. Yes? Happy with that, Drew? Happy? OK. OK. And now Sarah's thinking, oh, this is a, an open cover. Of what? Help me. OK. By compactness of k, there exists, say, what? There exists a finite subcover. Now, how would I denote the finite subcover? Remember, this is indexed by x. So I should, Steve is thinking, I should just do what with the x's? <coughs> if I want to show, I want to indicate somehow they're finitely many. How about indexing the x's by numbers? So let's do this. There's a finite subcover b of x sub i, where i goes from 1 to some number n. Happy with that? Yes? OK, we're almost there. Just ran out of space on this board. What should I say now? Help me make precise this idea. If there were 17 